All right, so I'm going to um, basically, this is just what stock motor mounts look like when they're shot. And what we're upgrading them with, which I believe is, is probably one of the best mounts. Um, they offer replacement bushings for their mounts. Um, and what you have to do to install those mounts correctly. So let's just take a look here real quick, all right? Now, this is the center mount. This is the fourth mount. Um, if you're looking down from the front of your motor, this is on the passenger front, okay? You can see this one is torn. Um, a lot of times, you'll look through that side hole. You'll see this. It will be sagged down, okay? Now, the way this is shaped, here is your side, here's your side bracket, okay? This, right here, slides down into that. Holds it in place, okay? Now, we're upgrading to the AGP solid fourth mount, all right? Which way would that be? Like, like that. Oh, I'm sorry, upside down. I'm looking at this different. Okay, so you can see that's what we're upgrading it to, all right? No play, no nothing. These come with a bolt. Make sure you use the correct bolt. If not, it'll go in too far and hit your timing belt, okay? Now, see how this is smooth? You want to take and grind these two tabs off right here because this is what it's going to do. You're going to end up with that gap in there. Um, it's going to push your motor over and those will eventually run into here and they will tear this uh, bushing material up and that's something you don't want. So that's, that's what you have to do to do that. Now, real quick, this is where this is installed, just so you can see. The passenger side of the engine. This will get bolted in right here, okay? And then the plate goes right on the side of the engine. <clears throat> All right, now, when this plate is installed, your upper mount bolt's here, right through this hole, okay? This is the side of the mount. See how this sticks out? This has a little notch spot where that goes, okay? That's to help align this motor. They do. They put these, these notches in here to help speed with assembly on the line, okay? That's what they're there for. This mount will hit that. It's out, okay? This is our, this is the torque solution upper motor mount, all right? So, this sticks in the motor like this. This one's basically in the same location. If you look at this, lo this area, see how it's shaped here? This one's nice, round, and flat. Now, when you put this on here, what happens? There's not a flat surface for this to go to. You can have the option of undoing these two bolts and spinning this around, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can grind this tab here off and stick this on that way. All right. Like I said, you need to have this flat or you'll damage this and it won't fit correctly. All right, so that's pretty easy. That one goes right in the top. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look at our lower mounts. All right. So I'm basically, this is the front of the engine, the front of the car still, and this is the passenger side. All right. This mount goes this way. All right. So this one will fit in. This kind of shoes out around the oil pan and then bolts to that front bracket. Take a look right here. What do you see? This is shaped like the upper mount, and this one is not, okay? So let's go over here. Let's take a look. This is where your mount goes. It'll go in here, and then it'll come up here. Up here in the front, we have a little roll pin that sticks out. That is to help with the alignment of the engine when installation is at the factory. We want to grind this pin off right here, okay? By the way, if you look, this mount is junk. Our upper mount, torn on the bottom there and on the top. You can see the tear. All right. We've already seen the center mount. We know that one was no good. So all three mounts were bad on the driver's side. Now, I've never really seen a transmission mount bad, but... If you take a look at this, this is going to be our transmission mount. This 
is our replacement mount. All right, just like that. So we have the same scenario going on here. This is a round flat surface, not only on one side, but on both sides. So if you take a look at this, this is shaped almost, I don't know, what, what would you call that? Upside down T, upside down diamond with a little T on it. All right, both sides are the same. Now, this is the mount that bolts to the frame underneath your battery tray. Up inside here, there is nibs right here, okay? On this side, there's also two, all right? That is for this mount when it comes up in from the bottom, it lines right up with the hole, see? All right, now, if you try to shove this up in here, which very rarely does anybody take the time to do this, because they'll force this up in here, it hits those nibs, all right? So what ends up happening is you end up damaging this mount also. So these right here also need ground off. I have a little um, three inch angle grinder. I use to grind them and then I'll probably use it to grind those. So it's all, all very important things uh, that you need to do when you're installing your transmission, your upper mount, your center mount, all of these things when you install this stuff, okay? All, this is all the proper way to do this. Um, these are not cheap. Um, you're looking at uh, 400 some dollars worth of mounts when you order these new from uh, Modern Performance, which is where they came from. Shout out to them, great shipping. Um, shout out to AGP for making a center mount. These things are very well made compared to the other ones that I've seen. Um, nice thicker plate, better weld. Uh, but that's just a side note. Now, also with this kit, we opted to get the upgraded. They come with Allen head, which is really nice for install. We upgraded, opted for the upgraded bolt kit, okay? So it comes with all of these bolts. Your center mount already comes with one of these upgraded bolts, okay? These two... Get installed here on these. Another one goes here. And then the other one will go on the back side of this mount. And the other one here will go on the front side of this lower mount, just like that. Okay. And that's where that's where this nice big Allen head comes in handy. Alright, so with that being said, guys. That's what you want to do when you install your motor mounts. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a torque solution, the AGP, the SDK, I don't know, any of the other various uh, manufacturers out there that make the mounts with the bushings shaped like this. Make sure you grind off your pins. It doesn't take long for that motor vibrating around to dig into this. Uh, not only that, it does help you get it seated in there a lot better. So with that being said, do it right the first time. See ya. All right, we got our plate turned around. We got our tabs ground off down here. Check that out. And then inside our mount, we got these ones ground. All right, this is what I used. Um, I had a three inch grinder. Um, I've had, I have pneumatic ones of these you can get. You could use a small file if that's what you have, whatever you got to get them down. Same with these. Um, I've used, I also have this uh, three inch angle, a little grinding disc on, works really well. Not so well for this but pretty good for that. So I usually start with the grinding disc and then try to clean it up with this. So there you go. See ya.